in Bangladesh, a woman says that always gets depressed and panic attacks whenever she thinks about um, money. So she, she's always thinking about the future, what Allah will bring, what Allah Azza wa Jal would provide, and she's always having these anxiety attacks. And when he, whenever he tries to calm her down and connect her to Allah and says to her, Allah is a provider, she says, there's nothing wrong in being depressed. There's nothing wrong in having anxiety attacks. The Prophet was depressed, alayhi salam, and not only that, he even tried to commit suicide. So is what she's saying true or not? Did the Prophet ﷺ become depressed? The answer is yes, but for a very short period of time. And Allah revealed to him that we can see that you are sad and depressed because they are not responding to you. They're not accepting your call and they're not believing in you and following you. Don't be. Don't let yourself uh, uh, be uh, sad or depressed or even kill yourself over that, not in the sense of suicide, but to harm yourself by such negative feelings. No, don't do this. There is no need for that. What about the attempts that the Prophet tried to commit suicide when he was first revealed to, and then he did not see Jibril. So he used to go to the top of the mountains and try and attempt to throw himself. Is there any authenticity of that? The answer is no. In Sahih al-Bukhari, these are known as Balaghat al-Zuhri, which is a munqata' hadith, not authentic, and it has no authentic narrations. So all scholars of Islam acknowledge that this is not an authentic hadith. So yes, the, the Prophet had never, ever attempted to commit suicide, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam.